Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini. This is the Enchanted Planner and today we're planning for the week of April 10th. Okay, I'm going to do a floral spread today because I haven't done a floral spread in quite a while actually and I recently got my copy of Posh Spring and there is some gorgeous florals in here. So it's a tie between either this set or this one. <laughs> I'm really torn. I mean, this is beautiful because of course it's got purples and stuff in it, but I also quite like this one because it's a little bit of a different take. And I have been doing quite a bit of like purple and pink lately, but I like the fact that this one has this long border. This one does not. This one has this though. So yeah, that's where I'm kind of on the fence. This one has these and I don't, I don't care for these. I, I wish she wouldn't do this, period. Just give me more florals. I'm quite capable of making my own boxes, <laughs> but that's probably a me thing. Like I love Jessica and I love these books, but to me, I mean, I would have loved more pages of just the florals. Just give me the florals. And I don't need all the decorative boxes and stuff, like, especially when they're circles. <laughs> like, I don't, don't generally use circles, but maybe we will test ourselves and we will use them today. So now I just need to make a decision. I mean, this one is just gorgeous. And out of them, I do prefer like these kind of shapes. So there's that. Hmm. I'm kind of hoarding them because these are like super favorites, man. Okay, I think I, mean, I don't. We're gonna use these ones. We're just we're gonna make a decision. You guys are probably like, I know which one you're gonna choose because it's purple, and you will choose it because it's purple. Okay, let's grab some wax paper. I have like a whole bunch of it all cut up here because I was using it for something else. So let's do that. And now in the back here, I think we have some quotes and stuff. Yes, we do. Okay, fantastical. So let's get this out of the way. Let's get these off the desks. Thank you for helping me make a decision. <laughs> Even though you guys probably knew what decision that was going to be. Let's get the backing off of this so it does not drive me insane in the membrane. Yeah. So what y'all been up to? Oh my gosh. Seriously, that was a weird, weird cut. Okay, we're good. I think we got it all. <laughs> Never knew getting an exercise during planner videos. Okay, I have this pair of scissors I pulled out as well as these ones. Oops, because this one, my scissors are being a little bit misbehavy. Um, we have the sticker squisher. No, those are two washi cards. They're the same. I need the sticker squisher. Might need you. Anybody else who's on need? We might need that. We have all the tools, all the tools, all the things. Now the question is, do I want to use any washi? We have some white grid washi, which might be quite nice. And that's the larger grid. We also have, I have to open my new box because I went through my grid washi. I, you know what? I think I kind of actually like the larger grid. I do, I do. Okay, we kind of have a plan. We have a plan, people. I don't know exactly how the plan is going to go, but we have a plan. Okay, now the question I want to explore is if we cut this into two pieces, will it work? I don't think it's quite long enough to do both sides. So let's lay down a piece. No, it's not going to be. I'm going to have to do... Um, could go like that. We could also go right down the side like that. And I have been known to do that. But I also means I don't get a sidebar. But that might not be a bad thing. What do I have this week? This is quite a busy week, actually. Okay, so... As I don't have a long enough piece of washi out here, we're gonna improvise. I don't know how well this is going to work, so don't try this at home. Okay, what do we wanna do, ladies and gentlemen? What do we want to do? I need to take that off of there. Because otherwise, I mean, the other thing is, is we do have two sheets of these. I just don't like using both sheets because I always like to leave the second sheet for another spread, but I do have another copy of this on the way because I usually always buy two copies of Jessica's books either and I don't know why I didn't this time. It kind of makes no sense. I'm stuck, people. Okay, I need to bend my brain around this. I'm going to be right back. Okay, I have no idea. We're just going to roll with it. That's how we're going to go. I am going to pull out um, Spring Boxes 2.0 though. Which That's my second copy. Okay, let's grab that one because I'm hoping we will have some matchy matchies. Some matchy matchies. I think we should be good. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this long, long piece. Now, hang on a second. I got too, I got too excited. I got I got too excited because I need to white out or eliminate some stuff. So let's fold that over the back again because I'm trying to decide if we want to 
go all the way across the bottom or if we want to stay within the grid. But I also want to try and work this washi in here as well. So I'm not sure if we want to, maybe we'll cut the washi. Maybe we'll just use the washi to accent boxes. I don't know. All right, I say we just dive in. Sometimes this fiddle faddling around is no benefit to any of us, is it? <laughs> because we just never get anything done. We get stuck by analysis paralysis and nothing moves. So I think we're just gonna come in along the bottom like so. Oh yeah, this is gonna drive me. This is why, <laughs> again, I'm gonna say, don't put anything on the spines of my damn planner. Um, I don't mind it so much when it's the polka dots, but when it's the, the, the lines, it drives me a little bit crazy. All right, we're good. So now we just have to sort of work our way around here, covering up the books, because I don't want all this showing through the stick up. So we'll do this really quickly. And this is a Uniball Signo, and I always have them linked in the description. There are these, and there are the jelly rolls. Now, most of the time the Uniball Signo comes in the big tip, but the jelly rolls, there is different sizes. And this is what a lot of people don't realize when they're new to the community and they see people using white, like gel pens to wipe things out and then they get frustrated because they've bought um, a jelly roll that's in like a five or an eight what you want is the 1.0 because that one has the biggest tip enabling more ink to flow through so there's just a little tip for you if you happen to be new to the community and welcome to the crazy because <laughs> you know we're all just a little bit mad here we live for stickers and paper. And I'm not kidding you. <laughs> that is not a lie. All right, I do want to address this little bit here and his friend over here. His friend and him do not belong. We are going to banish them. You're a, you have been banished. Oops, I just took off my white out. Hold on, or gel pen, you all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean, I'm talking in riddles. All right, so let's just flatten this out. And what I'm using right now is actually a craft scraper. I also link this in the descriptions as well. I call it the sticker squisher, but it's literally just a craft scraper. This one happens to be from Ranger, but I picked it up at the scrapbook store, but there's always, there's always tons of them on Amazon. So I find them for you. They're just pink usually, pink or blue. I haven't managed to find a black one on there yet. So we're gonna take his complimentary friend which is something I never do. So trust me, people, I am pushing my own boundaries because I never tap into the second, <laughs> if you've been watching for a while, I never tap into the second sticker sheet ever because I'm a hoarder and I like to save things so I can use the other later. All right, so let's deal with our, our situation here by eliminating the lines. So what have y'all been up to? Me, I'm just trying to like get my life in order. But I'm not kidding. Like I'm not being um, hyperbolic when I say that. I'm literally trying to get my life in order and figure out what I want to do. Um, I had warned you guys a little while ago. So we'll chit chat about that a tiny bit. So um, I sort of told you guys a little while ago that if I just suddenly vanished and ghosted, don't, it's, there's not, I'm fine. I'm, there's nothing wrong, but just life got in the way. Um, I was finding life a little bit too complicated at the time because I had too many things coming at me. Um, we live in an economy that is extremely bloody expensive right now and everything is going up and then you get hit with unexpected things like my landlord renewed his mortgage. So we'll chat, chat about that a bit and I'll talk to you about it. And I'm of two frames of mind and you'll see where I'm coming from in a second. So my landlord had to renew his mortgage and his mortgage went up because the interest rates have climbed courtesy of our government's misappropriating freaking so much money over the last three years. And yes, some of it was important stimulus money, some of it is not. I'm sorry, it's, it's, I'm telling you, as a side note, if I worked in a job and I was this bad at the budget, I would have been fired many times over. In fact, I would have been fired the first time. But in Canada, with our wokeness, and I'm being facetious on that one, um, we don't hire people that are qualified for the job. Currently, the head of this country is a drama teacher. 
no background in politics. I don't even know. He got elected because of his father's name. That is the entire reason that that, that man got elected because he has no formal background in politics. He was a drama teacher and a substitute drama teacher for the most part at that. And the person responsible of for our finance, so the finance minister, our finance minister here, has no background in economics, no background in <laughs> anything to do with money or budgets. And uh, yeah, she's a journalist. And yeah, she's the one that's responsible for all the money in this country. So, you know, I, I shouldn't be surprised. But, you know, if, I don't know, any of us, if we went into a job and we were that bad, we would have been fired, like, six times over. I just, like, I, I just I can't even. So anyways, on top of that, with everything going up and the cost of gas going up and the cost of our expenses going up and the cost of everything going up, my landlord's mortgage went up and then he came to me and he's like, well, I want to try. He basically, he was entitled based on our, because we have rent control here to some degree. The province um, housing ministry determines the percentage that a landlord is allowed to do on yearly rent increases. And for this year, it's 2%, which would be $50, okay? $50. And he turns around and tells me he needs to raise my rent 400 And he also needs to do the same with the basement. Like, there's a basement suite underneath me. And I'm looking at this going, you're fucking joking, right? <laughs> like, I do. I, I understand your situation. But you also need to understand mine. Everything's going up. It's not just your expense. Like, I don't know. So I've been sort of bending my brain around that. And then on top of that, like I said, I've been trying to, you know, I've been working through budgeting and I'm learning, which is fantastic. I'm still going through what I optimally want to do because I watched one of Elise's old budgeting videos because let's face it, when we think of budgeting in this community, we go to Elise. But there's just no, <laughs> there's no one else that really springs to mind other than Elise. So I went back and I was watching some of the old um, videos she'd done and one of them had indicated that it was like a good idea to literally go through like your last 12 months of expenses. So I want to do that and see exactly where our money has gone for like the last year which I think is going to be a huge undertaking, but I can get her done. I don't know that I want you there. So we're going to lift you up for now, gently, and plunk you on the wax paper. And then we're going to put some boxes down, because I think that's where I need to focus my attention next. So my landlord has not actually issued this rent increase, which I'm grateful for. Um, we haven't even discussed it really since that particular moment in time. I'm not going to find any boxes that match for this. Well, that sucks. Well, the pink's not bad. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, because the green in here is way different. Way different. But I didn't realize that we probably should have gone with the other set, but that's okay. This too shall pass. We will figure it out. This one's not bad. Okay, this is doable. This is, it's probably gonna be a pink and green spread. That's just a strange place to pull boxes from, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, I do think I'm going to grab, do I want you or don't, I think, okay, we're gonna do a lined one, I think. For as much as I'm not really big on the lined boxes, personally, my preference would be dot grid or graph even. I'd be good with that, but sorry. So let's throw this in the sidebar and get our stuff figured out here. Oops, we forgot something. We forgot something. So anyways, back to that. We haven't even shot, like we haven't even talked about it since and I've just been paying my rent and nothing's been said. So I'm hoping that he realizes, but I think he's going to be in for a bit of a rude awakening when I have this discussion with him because here is my viewpoint on this. This is a you problem, not a me problem, meaning my landlord. And I don't mean to be um, kind of glib, if you will, but welcome to the world of being a landlord. I save that man so much money because my husband is in trades. And as such, we have a lot of friends in trades. So like the hot water tank needed to be replaced at the beginning of February. And he got a larger hot water tank installed for under $1,400 because he got wholesale cost. And my friend only charged him like, I don't know if I wanna put a quote there. And my friend only charged him 200 bucks basically for the install on a Saturday, I might add, like Mikey did this on a Saturday. And because of Mike, that hot water tank, we got another year and a half out of it. It should have been replaced a year and a half ago, but that's what we always do. Like we're very good that way. And I do things like that because, you know, he promised me he was not planning on ever raising the rent. Okay, then we have, a, we have things to talk about, right? But if all of a sudden you've changed your mind on that, you're changing the dynamics of this relationship and you may not like it. 
you may not like it because lo and behold, you're going to find out what it's really like to have these expenses because from that point forward, it's going to be like, oh, something's broken. Better get a repair guy. Not my problem. I'd almost wish I had a box quote for this. I wonder if there's anything in the spring sticker book. I shall resume this conversation. Handle your horses. I'll be right back, my darlings. Okay, I found this one in the Seasons sticker book. I mean, the flowers are different, but it's actually not a bad match. So we're going to throw that up top. <laughs> Hello, springtime, because I am excited about spring and beyond. Okay, so we need to sort of space these guys. Uh, I have some more wax paper here somewhere on the desk. Do I not? Apparently not. Where the heck? I am so out of it today. You're all along for the ride, by the way. Did you know? Did you know you got onto this insane ride, whether you knew it or not? Okay, more wax paper. Let's get this guy so I can get a little bit of an idea on spacing because this guy's a little sticky. Then we'll grab our friend over here because this might be too big. I think it's too big. I think we might have to go a different direction. Well, it was worth a shot. Okay, but I do have sort of an idea now. So we're going to lay this guy down, I think about there. And do we come back to my original? I think we come back to my original. Maybe we'll put some florals in this corner, which means maybe we'll move this down. I know, I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit discombobulated today and I have to film. So sometimes is what you get. Now, decision wise, because we could come in with like this little piece up there. It is actually an end piece. I don't like it though. We could also go move those pieces. We have this piece. Now it's not gonna stay down, stay down. I think maybe we'll try with this guy. And do I cover up April? And put this there. I mean, there was some monthly boxes in here. What was there? Little ladybug. We have that. That might work too. Ooh, we got lucky, which would be more of a, what do you call it? This is a good tip for you guys. When you buy the seasonal books like this and they're just like, they're all four seasons or there's a whole bunch of holidays in them, I don't really find for myself that there is enough in them to do an actual spread. But where I do use them is in accompanying things like this where I'm looking for just little pieces that might work with an existing spread. Because although this one is too big and I don't know where that came from. <laughs> now that I'm in here, I don't, I don't know where that came from. I'm pretty sure it came out of this sticker book. Shall we check again to make sure I'm not losing my mind? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's put this guy back in here like that. And let's see, does that one also works? And it's a good tie-in with that kind of green down here. Although it says love today, which I don't know, it's a sidebar thing. So let's not do that. Oh, it's not back in there, right? And yes, I haven't forgot. We will resume the conversation. I'm just <laughs> sidetracked with something. I'm just sidetracked with something. Plant a garden, home sweet home, wake breakfast for mom. Yeah, okay, well that's a bust, sadly, that's a bust. Um, let's go into the spring book. I have a whole bunch of seasonal books. It's just a matter of quick flip, a quick flip, so I can see that if there's any like square box ones that might work, that are like a decorative quote. I could also pull out like my quotes DIY book, which might be an idea. But I'm also trying not to waste a ton of time here, darlings. Not a ton of time. All right, so I think we're done. We are just going to proceed with my original plan here, which is kind of coming in. How do I want to do this? That is also kind of pretty and like that. I can actually come down lower. I'm really, this is really, I'm really torn. <laughs> They're so pretty. That's the problem. They're so pretty. I don't want to use them, but I'm making myself use them because, you know, they're no good if they're in the sticker book. All right. I think I'm kind of happy with that, but we do need to do some adjusting here. <clears throat> okay. So let's get rid of this and get rid of that. And then we will come in with our illustrious gel pen here and get rid of the lines like so. So anyways, where was I? So I was talking about my landlord and all of the, the life stuff that got, torn, that got torn at me. So my husband is really, I mean, I have income, but it's not a ton of income right now because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to be when I grow up, <laughs> which is really part of the problem. Um, I just feel like I'm afloat in an ocean and I don't have, I don't know. I don't feel like I have any roots, I think is part of the problem, but I'm getting there. 
so anyways, my because of, well, and my husband is a, a general contractor. He's a construct. He works in construction, but he's like the foreman. So he's been working a lot of hours. And this is where I've kind of come to this section. That is crooked. I was trying to get it so straight, and it's so crooked. All right, let's try this again. I want you to be flat against there and in a straight line. Bloom where you are planted. Okay, let's stick that down. Oops, too soon, too soon. So anyways, my husband is working a lot, but he has to because he's running the job site right now. There's no one else. So he's working a lot of hours. And as such, like, you know, based on the budget, we've got a little bit more disposable income, which what I've been doing is just tucking all of that away. But if it goes forth and I have no other option but to agree to this stupid rent increase, that's going to eat some of that disposable income. But on the other side, it's also going to mean, and we are not we are not strapped financially. I sound a little bit, um, I don't know what to call it, but no, we are not strapped financially. Like, we're fine. I just, I'm not opposed to always reducing expenses, right? And that's where I'm at. So I'm really not, you know, I just, I found it, I find it counterproductive. I'm trying to reduce expenses and everyone else is trying to bring them up. Do you get where I'm coming from? Like, it's a little frustrating. So I just, I don't know. I'm sort of in this position where I do need to decide what I'm doing with my business. Like, because I have a few clients, but they're inactive right now. And I do need to figure out a game plan on what that is going to look like um in the future um and i'm really enjoying the planner content so my heart is lying way more with building like a craft related business and years ago di and i kind of come from like the same background like we were both heavy duty scrapbookers and in the de back in the day i used to sell stuff on ebay because that's what we had right we functioned in in yahoo groups <clears throat> and we sold on ebay or we did a lot of swaps or whatever so i don't really want to you know i'm like i've always been crafty and I've always been business minded. It doesn't really matter whether it's this type of stuff or whether it's like fitness or what it is. Optimally, I want to do both, <laughs> but I cannot be all the things to all the things. Do you know what I mean? Which is why I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to manage to keep up on everything with everything that life was throwing at me. And it sort of threw me into left field or it sort of came at me from left field because I'm trying to figure out, I just need to figure out what I want to do. And I need to take the time to do that, which is why I was kind of giving you guys a little bit of a heads up. But as it turned out, so far, things have been kind of kosher. I've been managing to keep it all afloat. All right, so we need to pull some boxes now. We have these little itty bitty scrap pieces, which I, as small as they are, I do keep because they make really good fillers for those little tiny gaps where you might need something. And it might not be this spread, it might be another spread. Okay, it's pretty. Now let's get some more function down here. I'm really liking sort of this purple here, which is not a bad match. Um, we've already agreed that green is no good. <laughs> no, it is not. And then pastel boxes. And then what am I in? Spring boxes. And then I have pastel boxes. I thought I had spring boxes as well. Hold on. I got so many sticker books. Oh, I do. I have the spring boxes as well. Check that out. I really need to go through and organize. I just organized all of this stuff and then lo and behold, I got more that I have to organize. The benefit to it is, oh no, this one only has checklists and I don't want checklists. Although the purples in here are not bad. The green was eh. I don't think so. All right, let me get to function here. Now I need to look at my monthly. So let's flip back the calendar here. This is the week of the 10th. So I need a box on the 10th, the 11th, and then the Sunday, well, the Thursday and the Sunday. So we got a little bit to work with. Wax paper, I was gonna say scrap paper, no wax paper. Um, do we wanna do pink and green? I don't like those pink though. I do kind of like this purple, kind of like the purple. What book am I in? Pastel boxes. So I think we'll grab one of these. And we're gonna go into the greens in here. And we'll grab one of those because those need to be a match. Now, because I have a fairly large checklist here. Now what I use this sidebar for usually is to, um, 
put the stuff on there that may or may not be assigned to a specific day during the week. So like this week I had a few phone calls I needed to make and they didn't need to be made on any specific day. They just needed to get done. So that's generally what I use the sidebar for. I also use it for, oh, don't forget, you've got to remember this or what have you. Um, and it works fairly well. All right, let's see if we can get the stickers straight because that's always a production. <laughs> Yay! Although I almost wish this was reversed. Hold on, we're gonna switch this up. We're gonna use this combo, this cluster, but I'm gonna put it on the other side. So I wanna go back in here and I wanna get one of those in a vertical box. And I wanna grab a purple, which I probably don't have, <laughs> of course not, in a square, but that will do. Um, just simply for the fact that we're gonna break it up a bit. So let's go this way. We're gonna lay these back down again. I just didn't like the purple being super close to the purple. Nope, we are not straight. I almost need like little mini guidelines all the way through the planner that are like invisible, almost invisible, but would be great for laying down stickers when you're trying to make them float and still get them straight. All right, so let's lay this guy down like so. I mean, I totally understand why people tend to write a lot of lines and stuff in their planner because, you know, with the sketch thing, you can get it straight. <laughs> Me, however, I don't particularly like that look. So I like a lot of white space. All right, let's bring you down a bit and lay you down and we'll hopefully get you straight. It always looks straight when I'm in one direction and then I turn it around and it's not straight. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I do like them to sort of bounce off and balance off each other. We need a little sort of box cluster up here. So let's go into the purples and I'm gonna grab this little guy and then we're gonna go back into the greens and we're gonna grab this little guy. And we're gonna throw these guys up here like so. Once I get these guys laid down, then I can come in a little bit heavier with the decor and stuff, but we do need to get the function stuff down. Now here I'm thinking I want to kind of do a double box. So I always put a double box on the weekends just because it works. And then we could go with purple, but I already have purple. We need to get a little bit more green on this side. So let's go into the greens. And of course this one's ever so slightly different for some reason because this page prints differently. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, do we have one with lines? Because I need to try and get lines on that side of the page. Let's go back and look. Yes, we do. All right, let's take this guy. You don't get more pastel than this, right? Like, whoa, pastels. But it's that time of year when we can get away with using all the pastels. And I'm not normally a pastel, actually, that's a lie. I, I, I quite like pastels, <laughs> but um, in their time and place. All right, are we straight? We are not. Happen, help me people, help me. Um, okay, so what was I talking about? I was talking about um, just reassessing my, my life and my what I want to do. So, um, so far, like I said, I've been managing quite happily to keep up with the content on this page, which is awesome because I love you guys and I really look forward to you and enjoy talking with you. When, every day. It gets awesome. We chit chat every day. This purple is different. Slightly different. We'll see if we can get away with it because I don't have, I want boxes, not boxes. I want boxes, but I want bullet points too. So how different are we? We're not a ton. We might be able to do this because I'm thinking, I don't know if that's straight. Hold on. I think it's straight. Yes, it's straight. I guess it's straight. It kind of looks straight. We're going to go with that. <laughs> okay, let's just ignore me. Just ignore me. And I think we're going to go in here. The sad thing is, is these greens are quite a bit different than this green. But I'm hoping they're going to be far enough away we won't notice. Shall we test it? Give me a bullet point. Yeah, that's quite a bit different, sadly. Okay, well, we might be not going that direction. Which is kind of a bummer. I don't have bullet points that are quite this color green because unfortunately this is before she decided to start adding them. I don't even think we have checklists in here. No, we don't even have checklists in this one. Bama. Bama, bama, bama. What about the old spring boxes? Let's take a look. What's the green like in here? And might, we might be able to, but this is just boxes with just checklists, which is just annoying. <laughs> okay, 
Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find some bullet points or something that will match this. I'll be right back. Okay, my bullet point collection for the win. <laughs> well, not mine, mine in my own DIY book. So these ones came out of the goals sticker book. I don't know that I wanna use squares though. I think I want circles. So we're gonna move up here and we're gonna grab some bullet points. If it'll stay off of me, that would be awesome because we do need to fill in some spaces, but I don't really want to put in lines or checklists. So we're gonna put this on Thursday. I have to find some purple though. That's going to be the next. And these are tiny bullet points, which is, I mean, I love them little, which mojos are a little bit, like they're quite big. If I can find them like comparably, they're, they're quite a bit bigger. So I don't really wanna do that unless I double them up. That's an idea. If we don't find a purple that will match in my stash, we can probably get away with that. The ones that are perfect have been like in the last few sticker books. Ooh, looky, 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 we found something. This is out of the second budget book. The budget 2020 something or other, I can't quite remember what the year is on it, but I note the books they came out of on my, on the back. So I know where they came from. Oh, they're bigger. Well, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. They're bigger. They're not noticeably, well, I notice they're bigger. And that's all we have in that respect. So questions going to be, if we go to the spring boxes and we use these guys and we put these guys on top, how, how well does that work? This is where I get fussy. I wrecked the bullet point, but we're gonna we're gonna try this anyways and see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't like it. All right, well that solved that problem. So what we're gonna do is separate these guys. And then we're gonna hold on here. Hold on here. I think we're just going to put those onto the thing for a second. Stay down. <laughs> this is the sticker lifter, by the way. It's amazing. Came from an Etsy shop. I will link it below, but it works really, really well. So I think we're just going to sneak in with um, purple because we could definitely use more purple on both of these pages. There's a lot of green. So we're going to come in like that. And these purples are fairly close. And yes, I could cut the bullet points in half and that would make them smaller, but I don't really want to. Oh, I don't want them samey. So let's bring you down there and you down there. All right, we have our function. We have the boxes I needed on the 10th and the 11th, box I needed on the 13th and the 16th is close enough because it doesn't really matter. It's just a bill that needs to go through. So now let's go to our florals, shall we? And let's have some fun. We have this piece, which would probably sneak in quite well under or over a box somewhere. Actually, that works really well. I just need to get rid of this little itty bitty, little itty bitty piece, which is like right there. Get off, get off. Okay, so that takes care of that. I'll white it out. I'm just gonna wander through and get stuff laid down and then figure out where we're at. We have this one, which is quite pretty. I don't know how well it's going to work, but let's de-stick it a tiny bit so I'm not losing the noodle on it because I'm thinking about putting it like right up there. It'd be nice if the stem was a bit longer because then I could pop it out from behind the box. I could probably do it like that, but we won't know until we take a look, so. That's the key. Do I want to cut this sticker or do I want to just lay it behind? That's the operative here. We can also put it like that, in which case. I think I prefer it better that way. Or do we just bring it down here and call her done? Because this is a bigger space than up there and I can find something that's a bit smaller for up there like one of these pink ones, like this guy. You also might be adequate. 
I don't know. I love florals. Y'all know I love florals. I think I'm going to bring the pink one over here. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. All right, we gotta, we gotta wrap this film, <laughs> wrap this up. Okay, so that might work there, although it's doubled up with that one and I'm not really sure about that. So this is why we haven't whited anything out yet because I may be changing my mind on things. I don't like that there. That is no. If we're gonna do this guy. Ooh, I didn't de-stick this one as much. Is it because it's pink? Maybe because it's pink. We also have this big piece, which I could probably integrate somewhere. We also have those two little scrap pieces, which might work. That's an idea. Let's grab one of these guys and let's see. I mean, we could bring it in in the corner like that, or we could put it on top like that and then just cut off that little bit which I don't really like as much as I did when I put it up here. So let's try this out again. And I'm gonna leave it there and see how I feel. Although we do need to figure out what we're gonna do with the other piece, which this has a, where did the, oh, this isn't the right piece. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with this part? Because <laughs> it's not the right piece. It's not the right piece. Because this one has um, a start on this side. So it would kind of need to go either that way or I could flip it upside down on this side, but it wouldn't work because, it, oh, actually, it, no, it won't because it would have to go that way. And that doesn't look right because I put the other one upside down. I did, I did, I did. But what about if we put it there? Like so, that's not bad. It's doable, it's doable. I kind of like that actually. I'm still not sure about that one, but I think I do like that. So we're going to eliminate this little line under there. So yeah, anyways, the long and the short of is life seems to be good. Um, I don't appear to be having to ghost you guys on anything. Um, I'm still not going to put up content seven days a week. There are some weeks where there might be five or six and there are some weeks where there will only be like maybe four because I do really want to start adding more stuff to the Etsy shop and getting videos done for my other channel, which is still sitting there waiting indefinitely for me to do something with it. So um, that's kind of where I'm at life is good but I do I haven't talked to my landlord like I said but I don't know it's a tricky situation because if I have to move out of here because he can't afford both mortgage like the increase on his end like to pay for the additional um if I'm looking at moving out of here and like it's gonna cost me more to rent something that's probably not as nice so this is where I'm kind of in a stuck situation you know it's like better the W you know than the W you don't all in all, I don't really think it's fair to expect us to absorb that cost. I get it though. But again, this is part of being a landlord, sadly. So I don't know. Share your feelings with me. Are you a landlord yourself? Have you been in kind of situations like this? I'm curious to see what everybody else's thought processes are on it. Like me, me personally, what I think is fair is I don't mind meeting him halfway. Like. It works for both of us, right? I, I meet him halfway. And instead of like a $400 rent increase, it's like a $200 rent increase, which I think is fair. But in future, I do not expect, like I'm I'm not <laughs> going to do like, because this messes up the system, like this year would be a $50 rent increase and then say next year might be another $50 or whatever, based on whatever that rate is, that percentage rate. I'm not willing to take a rent increase based on this new number, it's going to have to be on the old. And I don't exactly know how to work that in because literally I'm doing you a favor, buddy. Like that's the way I look at this. I'm doing you a favor and don't be a dick. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I have a wonderful landlord. He's, he's such a, well, he's a kid I and mean, he's the same age as my son, but he is, he's an absolutely wonderful landlord. I just am not happy with this whole situation, but I don't think there's no right answer. You know what I mean? Can I cut this without making a mess on my planner page? Let us see. Nope. I tend to be a little heavy handed and sometimes that's problematic. I just made a holy mess of that sticker. Okay, but at least we have a guide. So I can get in there with my scissors, I guess. There we go, let's take that off. And then I'm gonna do the same with this bottom piece. But I do want to 
white out the lines first. Did I cut through my page? I kind of did. All right, let's take that up. I'm always a little bit heavy handed with like the exact knife and stuff. And even as gentle as I try to be, it still ends up being like really freaking heavy handed. All right, so let's put you back, but you up against the box and then I can get an idea on how high this needs to be. Now we're just about done, gang. And we've had a good chit chat and I've asked you all for your input and advice. Because yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a good, I don't think there's a good answer for any of it, to be honest. I mean, it's a crappy situation he's in, but in the same breath, like it's a crappy situation for us too, because like everything's gone up, but not the wages, right? Okay, so let's try this without making a mess. Oh my gosh, it actually worked that time. <laughs> Oh, yay for me. Although I still need to kind of rearrange the sticker a bit because I cut too um, deep on the trim. So let's let's fix that. We're just going to butt him up a little bit and pretend all that didn't happen. We'll take that out of there. Okay, let's look at our, let's look at our beauty. I want more florals. I want more florals. They're so pretty. We have these little ones. They're kind of cute. I don't know where I'm going to put them though because I don't really have any place to stick them because I got this place covered unless we went in like kind of like that at the bottom. Yeah, I want more florals, but I'm not exactly sure how to work them in without making a mess. So I think I'm going to leave it and we'll see what happens. I'm still not sure this is straight. <laughs> still not sure about that. Um, that's pretty. Let's go see if there's any more spring quotes in the back we can use. This book is like totally falling apart on me. We have bloom where you're planted. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. We have spring, a flower blossoms for its own joy. That would be great if I had a line to put it on, but I don't. Live, love, bloom. Hello, spring. Spring blessings. I don't know. I really kind of want to get like another quote on here though although that's a different font and I don't really want to do that I'd like something fairly similar to that which would be like this one but like it's literally almost the same saying just in a different way plant grow bloom all right maybe we'll leave it so I don't make a mess okay let's get our planner out from underneath this ginormous mess and let's see about getting this back onto the desks oh my gosh it looks pretty it looks pretty people it looks pretty Oops, <laughs> you probably like you forgot something. Yes, yes, I did. And I think, I don't know that I have to do the other side. I think I have to, but just a little bit. Let's, let's do that. Yeah, this side needs to be done too. So let's flip this guy over and do that. And then we'll flippy, 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 flippy. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, that's a wrap, you guys. At least I think it is for now. If it changes, you'll see what it looks like in the um, thumbnail or on Instagram, or you'll probably catch it in the flip through when I flip through the month of April. Thank you for, so much for watching and listening to me, you guys. I hope I didn't ramble too much on you. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, drop us a comment down below letting us know you're new. Oh, let's just add some washing, I think. Um, and uh, we'll welcome you into our community. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.